So today's topic, it's going to be 2025 intake. The applications are open for January, September. This is what we are going to discuss today. The format of the show is very simple. You all can ask me your questions to this number. I will immediately get it to my screen and I will answer them. And also you all can download our newly launched app, which is completely free. Uh, our 15 years of experience is loaded into this app and you all can download and we are constantly adding a lot of features to it to make the user experience much, much better. So please download and do share us your feedback. So we are coming to the uh, end of uh, 2024 intake. Currently, most of the students offer letters we have already delivered and many students are there in their visa process. And yes, we have started recruiting students for 2025 intake, as you all could see in the screen. Uh, this time, I'm just trying this format of uh, presenting the information also back on the screen and I'll try my best to ha not hide the information behind and anybody wanting this PowerPoint which is on the screen, you all can text us to this number and we will share the complete PowerPoint. Okay. So anyone asking, wanting to ask me questions can ask me to this number. I'll be more than happy to answer them. So yes, September 2025 intake applications are uh, open and we have already started taking in a lot of students and first important point that I have presented here is Start your application process for September, uh, January 2025 intake. Proper planning and preparation is the first steps to success. That's what I have uh, uh, presented here. Without proper planning, we cannot execute any or even uh, plan or aim even bigger achievements. Also, Europe Study Center doesn't promote Chota Mota PG Diploma Colleges in Canada or these commission paying universities in UK, US, nothing top ranked public universities, top ranked B schools, everybody have systems, protocols to follow, documentation work to be done. So the first step towards all these things is collecting information, then setting the plan right and having a smooth takeoff and a smooth landing. This is what students and parents need to do. First step is collecting information. We have our offices, Chennai, Trichy, Coimbatore and Bangalore plus 35 other franchises spread across India promoting free education or promoting you know tuition fees starting from 3 lakhs per year onwards who promotes all these things only Europe study center in the era of everybody promoting and milking the students and parents to the tune of 50 60 lakhs tuition fees for two years plus the living expenses whereas Europe study center only company pan India having 35 plus offices promoting free education promoting quality education promoting the premier universities in the country only Europe study center. So then we'll go to the uh, next slide. As you all could see, you know, the reasons to choose Europe, the high quality education at a very, very affordable cost. This is the main reason where the quality and the cost, which is actually matters when it comes to an abroad education, we satisfy both the parameters, high quality education at affordable cost. Who promotes affordable education? Europe Study Center. Who guides the students in a straightforward way without misguiding them? Oh, your job is confirmed. You can do part-time job and earn a lot of money and misguiding the students and bringing them to the middle of the roads. The only company not to do such things. We encourage students to sit and study, spend less and study, develop your skills. This is what we say. The only company to de-promote part-time jobs, Europe Study Center. Why? The company's name itself is kept very clear. Europe Study Center. It's not Europe job, part-time job center. Nothing. Come, study, develop your skills and move forward. And who broke the ideology or the concept of those parents who only having a lot of money can go abroad? We have sent with this intake itself. We are sending 200 plus students for free education where they don't have to spend money only for the living expenses they need to spend. As I have written here, UGPG, free education or 3 lakhs per year onwards will be your tuition fees. It's cheaper than studying in India. Nowadays in India, what has happened? All these private colleges and etc, etc, where the quality of education has gone down, tuition fees has gone high. Look at the innocent state of students joining artificial intelligence in private colleges, spending 7 lakhs per year tuition fees in Chennai itself. Artificial intelligence is a nice course. Anyway, I will be making a video. Next video is about that. Fine. But whether those professors and lecturers, do they have at least five to seven years of experience, hands-on experience 
in, in doing projects in artificial intelligence or data science? Zero. They also read from the same books that you guys are going to read. This is nothing but path towards disaster. So please look into quality of education. It's only about lack of skills. It's not about lack of jobs. Jobs are always there. Whether are we empowering the youngsters with all these sort of skills is what is the question mark. You give these children all inferior education, memory based education, uh, mark based education and end of the day, this education system itself claims these children, they are average. They are not up to the mark. They are not industry ready. Why just blame these innocent children all the time? All the time blaming the innocent children is so easy. Why? They are the soft targets. We are the only company who never blame the students. Rather, we advocate and we request to the students, sorry, to the parents stating that give them a platform where they get access to high quality education. At an affordable cost, that's why I put here, free education or 3 lakhs per year onwards is what is the tuition fees. So then we move to the next slide. That is how we differ from others. As I told you before, we do not promote uh, commission paying universities and colleges. We do not promote it. ESC is the only company. That's what I've written here. We do not promote commission paying universities and colleges. That's why I don't do UK, Ireland, Australia, Canada PG diploma. Never. The only person in entire India not to promote PG Diploma, Europe Study Center. And the only company to promote free education at Pan India level. I am not telling. Okay, everybody is going to get free education. No. Don't get uh, misguided. Okay. If not for free education, tuition fee starts from 3 lakhs per year onwards. And for bachelors, no free education. Okay. Bachelors, tuition fee starts from 3 lakhs per year onwards. At master level, we do have free education. Then we move to the next slide. And many people ask us, sir, are you against other countries just because you are not promoting it? Never. We will not de-promote a country just because we are not promoting it. Like how all the other agents and consultants say, oh, you don't go to Germany, this problem, that problem, these, that, blah, blah, blah. No, we will not de-promote a country. I have clearly presented the chart. For example, US, you can go study in the top 50 universities. No problems whatsoever. Canada. Top 10 universities, you get an admission in Europe Study Center channel in the live platform, I'm telling this. Proceed to Canada, no problem. If you really love Canada and you are getting an admission in the top 10 universities and of course UK, the Oxfords, the Cambridge, the London School of Economics or the Imperial Colleges, you're getting an admission, just fly. Same applies to Singapore, NUS, NTU, please fly. Of course, you need plenty and plenty of marks for all these universities and of course your parents need to spend close to a crore of rupees for you to finish your masters and crores of rupees for you to finish your bachelors that's a different story you have the mark you have the money please proceed if your parents are ready to spend if you guys ask me whether i will be spending this much of money for all these things even if i have it that's a different point of debate which i will never do that's a different story but unnecessarily we will not degrade a country just because we are not promoting it okay Canada, but what do Indian students do? 95% of students going to Canada go for a PG diploma. It's nothing but Indian private education part two. And we all start to assume, oh, the economy is bad. There are no jobs. There is slowdown. That is slowdown, recession. It's all like an economy. It's like a giant wheel. Okay. Economy, once it comes down, it has to go up. Once it goes up, it has to come down. But who will get affected in this? financial cycle or this economical you know upgrade or downgrade whatever they name it only those with lesser skills and no skills will only get affected people with abundant skills they don't care about recession they don't care about anything they don't care about you know any aspect of economy because they know that they will get employed or they will employ 10 15 people this is what is the ground reality so please, if you're choosing other countries, but what do students do just for entering these sort of countries, they choose these countries, Chota Mota universities. And then finally, they blame the country and they don't accept all the wrong decisions that they made. For example, UK, all master degrees one year, which is not valid in majority of the countries. And I saw a paper ad, uh, sorry, Instagram ad, uh, study in UK, get a laptop free. Immediately, the other agents started study in UK and we will get your uh, flight ticket for free <laughs> and they say we don't charge any processing fees then how is the money coming from 
no parents or students ask these questions those universities where students don't join please understand okay they contact the agents and consultants in india okay and then uh, they pay them the commissions that they ask the agents ask close to 2.5 to 3 lakhs commission per student and fill up those empty seats lying in the universities and colleges this is what is overseas education you can ask okay what is europe study center doing okay i have just you know got a uh, few sample offer letters uh, of my german and non german offer letters first letter i have this from rwta jakan you cannot find a single company in entire india uh, promoting akan university and then again we have a university of uh, tu berlin a uh, global production engineering so this this program and then tu hh uh, hamburg university of uh, uh, technology the programs is like you know chemical and bioprocess engineering and then we have one non german offer letter from ku leuven uh, the student is going to study food technology see we provide we process wide variety of programs it's not that you know we just provide we just process uh, free, few programs and leave out the others not at all so anybody wanting to ask questions about 2025 intake or in general anything about abroad studies you can text to this number and i will get the question in my whatsapp i'll be more than happy to answer them okay yes so then uh, we have another offer letter from uh, bub uh, brussels university for the program applied sciences in engineering and computer science and then we have one more offer letter from heidelberg again it's free education biomedical engineering university of freiburg uh, master of science in neuroscience plenty of offer letters it's not like one or two that i'm keep showing you know, i've made these videos also so the only company not to promote commission paying universities sending students to fantastic public universities europe study center by far it's easy to promote uk 10 days offer letter 25 days visa simple over so go for public universities all the parents they all work so hard to make this money please believe in the university believe in the course university and course is always greater than the country country is never greater than the university and the course if they understood this particular simple elementary formula you will not see students going abroad for a one year master program you will not see students going abroad for a pg diploma why pg diploma in canada but they think canada is going to change my life not at all not even germany or italy what will change your life or what will upgrade your life only with your skill set please understand this hard reality then the next slide is this is a classic comparison of uh, the tuition fees in new zealand i don't know if this is visible even though anyway you guys want this powerpoint i'll be happy to share it to your whatsapp number you can text send me the ppt this is the tuition fees of a, a top university in new zealand where you can see for engineering for example the local students tuition fees is 8793 new zealand dollars is the fee structure for a local new zealand citizen okay but whereas when it comes to an international students the tuition fees is 42712 new zealand dollars almost five times tuition fees more they both sit in the same classroom but they spend five times more the indian students why desperation our desperation is nothing but made into money by agents and consultants that's all whereas what do we do here free education where there is no tuition fees and we openly tell what are our charges and recruit students any universities hiking up the fees like this for international students is nothing but a commercial activity okay it is their right to do it i am not telling this is right or wrong but students should not get stuck into all these parameters that is the only reason europe study center constantly creates awareness and recruit students to top class public universities in europe and then the next slide and yes why agents and consultants they don't charge any processing fees because as i have clearly told in this webinar all they get is through the commission as i have told you here agents push students to universities that pay the most it's a newspaper article again an australian education system is a ponzi scheme with agents paid bonuses to lure the students you know what our parents and students do 
they read all these articles and still go study in these sort of universities. Only God can save them. Believe in yourself, boss. Life is so simple. Don't take huge education loan. Don't sell your ancestor property. Don't pledge your properties to make these agents and these countries richer. Study in top class public university. Smart students, they always spend less. No company is going to pay you in lakhs or crores just because you spent crores on your education. They don't care. All that they care is whether do you have skill set or not. This is what it is. So the agents get you know 80 to 20 percentage commission on the tuition fees that your parents hard earned money that they pay to the university. That is why they claim they don't charge processing fees. I process universities like free education or 3 lakhs per year onwards and openly tell what are our charges, charges and what will be your expenses involved like application fees, courier charges, etc, etc and guide the students in a straightforward way. And the next is another interesting point that is when you compete, what happens when you compete with few hundreds versus few lakhs? Okay, say for instance, a country like Belgium or even Netherlands or any country you take in Schengen, most of the countries, hardly few hundreds of students only enter in a year from India to a particular country. Say for example, Belgium. Okay, but when you compare that with a university in UK or Australia or Canada, where one particular university itself recruits more than 1500 to 2000 students. Imagine a single university recruiting 2000 students, Indian students and imagine an entire country not recruiting more than few hundreds of students from India. This is what I am talking about supply and demand ratios that is few hundreds versus few lakhs. When you are competing with few lakhs, obviously finding a job is going to be much much challenging. For you to be more evident, you guys can go to YouTube, check all the videos that the students have made. So, you guys need to decide if you want to study in the Schengen zone. What is Schengen zone? Let's assume two students, one going to Germany, one going to France. Both of them, they don't get a French visa or a uh, German visa. The visa that they get is called as a Schengen visa with which they travel to all uh, 27 countries. Okay. So, anybody wanting to ask questions, you guys can ask me. I will be more than happy to... Uh, answer them regarding the uh, September January 2025 intake. So I hope you all are clear about Schengen countries where only few hundreds of students are eligible to apply for a visa. Beyond that, they don't recruit students because they have CAPEX. So the next is how do we get into this admission process? What is the first step? Admission process varies from countries to country. There are like close to 27 Schengen countries where the admission process completely varies. So, we need to look into what are the entry requirements for the each universities, what are the financial requirements, all these requirements vary country to country. Based on this only we need to uh, plan. So, admission process totally varies and next important point, we apply only for English thought programs. We do not apply for uh, non-English thought uh, programs and uh, questions. Okay, this is what we do. So, most importantly, the aspect of not promoting non-English thought programs and courses is we have been fine-tuned right from our kindergarten to study only in English. We do not promote non-English thought programs and courses. Okay, We promote only English thought programs and courses. So, uh, we have a question from Franklin. Now, I am Pursuing my UG in AIDA, I think he is talking about artificial intelligence and uh, data analytics engineering, can pursue in Germany without TOEFL or IELTS. No. For you to study in Germany, you need to have your IELTS. Okay. That is must. So, you need to have that. Nyanastri. Hi, sir. Is the masters in aerospace in Lithuania is good? See, all the public universities we promote, whether it's Belgium or any country for that matter of fact, we promote only the number one, number two in that particular country. So, you don't have to worry. And the next question is by Giri. Sir, I'm studying first year BEECE and I'm willing to discontinue my studies in Germany. See, we never encourage students to discontinue studies and come and join us. Okay, Giri, we have started your studies. Okay, finish it. If you have not started your bachelor's, you are more than welcome to contact us. But you already paid one year of tuition fees to some engineering colleges here. So, finish the degree. We will never demotivate students to do all these sort of activities. 
okay that one year of fees that your father is paid also is like come through hard earned money so finish that one year that is you know finish your bachelor's and then contact us for our masters okay this is what i wish to say and the next question is from hi i am ruba devi from velur i study b electrical engineering i got 8.1 8.8 cgpa out of 10 okay i'm i'm waiting for my eighth semester results see ruba devi you don't have to wait for your eighth semester results even students entering this particular final year who will pass out in 2025 even final year students can apply without wasting time and they can fly abroad so ruba devi i would wish you to contact us and i'll be more than happy to guide you uh maruthiram good afternoon sir just now i attended your live session i am already planning to do my masters in europe personally i prefer to study in poland poland as of now uh, we have not uh, we are not processing due to the current uh, uh, visa issues so please look into that uh, matter and then plan accordingly okay mm -hmm. so and then we will move on and then the next point that i wanted to say was be aware of application opening dates and deadlines see say for example this is the third point so for example even today if you look at it we are almost at the last 48 hours of closing up the 2024 intake but we have uh, even today parents coming sir can my son go in this intake itself sir is it possible to finish all the processing in 48 hours why we have to go through all these hurdles we can directly you know uh, uh, plan to apply early collect information early that's why i'm posting this uh, live instagram session at least uh, several months before the january and september intake and the last point is check your i would say here check your eligibility and admission requirements this is again very very important many people assume oh sir only germany sir sir only this country only that country without looking into the eligibilities without looking into entry requirements they start developing a lot of interest towards countries where they are not eligible this is why this is what I clarify in this free counseling session. Visit our offices, Chennai, Trichy, Coimbatore, and Bangalore, and you can also contact this number. We will share you the appointment link. Visit us alone or with your parents. That's all up to you. Come, collect all information, free counseling. We will explain you all the aspects. Close to 90 minutes. We take your time. Please focus when we are doing the counseling, and you will get all your answers clarified. End of the day, bottom line is very simple. Student is interested, fine. You know. Uh, you are ready to do your hard work and smart work combined go to the depth of the subject and develop your skills you're going to win this hands down and many of german aspirants would be also watching these videos so you all need to see see to see to these these points very clearly first is you need to finish up with your ielts that is very important okay the next is uh APS certificate is also required for Germany, which we will clearly guide you and subject specific requirements. For example, certain department students cannot study certain courses because they don't satisfy the entry requirements that also needs to be checked. And we apply for Germany only with backup options that also that is also the last point because this is again important applying only for Germany will be challenging apply with multiple options plan A, plan B, plan C that is when we will get a uh, lot of options okay any more questions if you guys have you can ask me i'll be more than happy yeah we have uh, two more uh, questions uh, narayan what could be the possible scenario for a student who wants to restart the university degree path after a few years of gap that shouldn't be a problem uh, uh, narayan so please contact us we will guide you accordingly see the advantage with europe study center is 2025 is our 15th year okay so Plenty of students, plenty of scenarios we have seen and we have guided them the best possible route and we have plenty of experience on handling all these aspects. So, with the best of our knowledge, we try to finish up the cases. Next question is, sir. Hi, I am I'm Vignesh from Coimbatore. I am currently completing my UG in BCom, Corporate Secretaryship. I am currently doing my CS course at executive level. I have a doubt whether I can study law courses sorry i am as i don't promote medicine i am not promoting uh, law related courses uh, also okay then this slide as i have told you this is all the requirements for a, a german this thing and then we ourselves give lot of options to students say for example plenty of options we give that is 27 countries options out of which we promote 20 countries even if you look at two, three public universities top ranked in these countries, we easily have 60, 70 universities options in spread across 20 different countries. How to prioritize this option? That is what I have presented in this flowchart. 
first option is the arm on top of before i get into all these things you will not find a single instagram live or a youtube video giving you this level of in depth information all at either free education or 3 lakhs per year onwards it's a open challenge nobody else can do it <laughs> okay so the first point is the course course is your identity course is everything always select a course which which you have interest not only the interest it should get you an employment end of the day i completely believe education should give us an employment or else there is no point in studying why study why to study if the education is not going to give us an employment it is only going to make these colleges and these college owners richer why should i sit and study education should get the child an employment where he can do a straight forward job and stand on his own legs and take care of his home his society his country the world etc 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 so course is very very important and money please this is the fifth time i am requesting in this session spend less and study don't spend more and study only europe study center will say spend less and study all the other companies will say spend more and study because they have to make you spend more so that they can earn more commissions time as soon as you finish your 12th move towards your uh, bachelors as soon as you finish your bachelors you can immediately move towards your uh, masters very important the more you postpone the lesser are the chances that you will be doing your Uh, bachelors or masters and the university whether it's the apt university for your profile that's all we need to see very very important and whichever subjects you are going to choose and that whether that university has industrial connection that's very important without industrial connection studying that particular course it's like building a beautiful house without water and electricity no use was if a university why iit is so special not only they teach latest syllabus with the excellent professors the important point why iits are so very precious and successful is because of the industrial connections they have how many private colleges in india have industrial connections 999999.99% is zero this is how it is so please the university profile is very important and finally the country but what do we do we fix up canada we fix up uk and then compromise all the other four parameters which can never take us to bigger success so start from the course then spend less study early to choose proper university which should be number 1 number 2 number 3 in that particular country then finally go for it okay there is how it is and nobody can explain as easier than this but if you put the country first and then then all the other parameters later all the best to all of you so the next slide yes again i have summarized the our entire uh, uh scheme of operations that we process first thing as i already told you why to prioritize europe as a study destination that is what we have discussed in the slide the first point we either promote free education or 3 lakhs per year onwards not that all can get free education if not for free education tuition fee starts from 3 lakhs per year onwards the next point medium of instruction promoted at europe study center 100 percentage english only you don't have to study any other languages that is what i have posted it here okay the next is we promote only the number 1 number 2 ranked university that is the third point we do not promote degraded universities we do not promote these one year masters we do not promote pg diplomas i am making it loud and clear to all of you whichever is not beneficial for the students like abroad medicine we don't promote it anything which is beneficial for my students and parents only we will promote it and the fourth point internships connected with industries with updated syllabus that is what i am talking now the industry the university should have latest syllabus connected with industries which gives excellent quality of education to students just sitting and memorizing <laughs> all these syllabus without industrial connection it's like operation success unfortunately the patient is no more that is what is the reality and then the fifth point who takes classes for you i don't know i don't think this is visible or not but still i will say highly qualified and eminent professors who has finished their ug pg phd pdf assistant professor associate professor and finally they become a professor at the age of 55 they are the ones who is going to take classes not the other people <coughs> so and these people have 20 plus years of domain experience 
This is why we say study in public universities, spend less than study, believe in yourself, don't do part-time jobs, focus on your studies. What else did I say? Am I telling you, oh, your job is confirmed, just contact me. I will take care of everything. No, getting job is all your responsibility. I just guide for your admission and visa and I am not guaranteeing any admission or I am not guaranteeing any visa. Even though we deliver more than 95-97 percentage on our promises. Because nothing is in my hands. Please understand. I am a facilitator. Okay. With the best of our knowledge and data we have, we process the student's application and have a smooth takeoff and a smooth landing. This is what we do. And then all our universities are very, very primitive, very old universities with reference to the age, but not with reference to the technology or the practices that they put forward. And the last point, affordable living expenses. A lot of people, they ask me, sir, you are discouraging part-time jobs for our well-being only. Fine, we accept. But what if the living expenses is high? The living expenses starts from 30,000 rupees per month onwards. It's not that, you know, a lot of tuition fees that the, sorry, living expenses that the parents and students need to spend. Yes, so all the key points I've already told. And then, yes, we have two intakes, one for the Jan and other for the, other for the uh, September intake. And majority of the courses, of course, is open in the September intake. And few courses are also available in the uh, January intake. And when to start the process, people always think, okay, I need to finish my, what is that? Uh, I need to finish my degree, then only start the process. Those students wait for one more year and waste one year, actually. Those students who are in the three-year degree, who are in the fifth sem, see clearly explained. Those who are in the fifth sem, three-year degree, in the final year, I mean, start your process for 2025 intake. Those students who are studying engineering, I mean a four-year degree, when you are in your seventh semester, start your process. Okay, and then completed students can apply, and work experience is not required. Please don't think work experience is required and keep working for one or two years and then plan. Okay, so uh, one more question from Josh. I have completed BE Mechanical 2021. I have work experience of two years as a design in OEM company. What are the advantages I have over others? I am unfortunately, I am so sorry to say Josh. They don't look into this work experiences much. Okay, and I am struggling to select the course suitable for me. You can contact us. We will be more than happy to guide you boss. Okay, our counselors, we know the difference between what is industrial engineering, what is production engineering, what is industry 4.0 and the difference between aeronautical and aerospace and what are the best universities for mechanical engineering, which has good industrial connections with all these knowledge only we guide you. And I can also openly challenge even 10 percentage of our counselors knowledge also the other companies cannot have. I wish they have. I pray that I have. I hope that they have. But unfortunately, when I get feedback from all the students coming here who have visited other offices, they have no clue what these people even they are explaining. See, you should know the difference between, for example, what is material science, what is nanotechnology, what is quantum computing. What is supercomputing? You should know these terminologies so that you can guide, guide these children. Without knowing these terminologies, you cannot guide these children. That is why we train all our counselors, the admission team, all aspects. And so that we are able to at least understand the question and give the best possible options to the students. Okay. So work experience is not required. So don't uh, assume and keep preparing for your work experiences and delay your process and financial planning very very important those planning for bank loans you need to collect the information early and then contact the banks and then do it uh, do it in much in advance and please don't think i am going to get any education loan for anybody i am not involved in this process i cannot be involved in this process it is between you and the bank many people think oh okay we will get the education loan no education loan depends on your father's financial profile and also your profile. That's it. We have no roles to play in all these things. So please. And then some countries require IT returns. ITR is also required and scholarships. As I have already told you, tuition fees is either free or 3 lakhs per year onwards. Okay. And I am openly telling this statement. Out of 100 students I process, one student is getting scholarship. Where even the living expenses is also waived off and tuition fees is also waived off. Only out of 100, one student is getting it. I don't want to put false statements stating that, you know, I'm going to get scholarships because a lot of people, they come to office thinking everything is free. Uh, some sir will somehow get scholarship. I would love to, but the scholarships are all not decided by me. It's decided completely by the universities. Okay. So that's it. You know, I have uh, covered all aspects. This is our uh, mobile number, Chennai, Trichy, Coimbatore, Bangalore, and also rest of India number. And as I told you, this is our newly launched app. You all can 
download the app wealth of information i, I hope you all can uh, scan it and yes i have answered all the questions wonderful so applications open for 2025 intake be smart students life is once travel meet lot of people get exposed to lot of new cultures spend less and study don't do part time jobs focus on your studies develop your skills don't take huge education loan ignore all these jokers who talk negatively okay believe in your skills and move forward at the same time don't expect promises from me like i will get you free education your job is confirmed all these are it's so easy to study don't expect these sort of statements or promises from europe study center okay believe in yourself okay world is full of opportunities for the ones who can see who can see these opportunities those people with skill set can see and capitalize on those opportunities and move forward okay last point somebody succeeded tried something somebody failed tried something cannot influence your decision making process okay i am not telling all the students i sent oh they are doing this they are doing that who have worked hard they are all doing fine today that is what is important so believe in yourself hard work combined with smart work will take you to places okay so thank you so much for all those who had asked your uh, questions i was very happy to read that and i have just tried a new format of presenting the whatever content i am talking is also to be on the powerpoint uh, if there was any hindrances kindly excuse this is all new things i keep trying and uh, as always do keep supporting us i will always uh, work me and my team members will work on our level best to keep giving high quality information and as always this is our mobile number we do two webinars every week every wednesday every sunday 730 live you can just text to this number share the upcoming webinars live link and again it's free contact us we'll be more than happy to guide you okay thank you uh, it was great talking to all of you uh, usually i finish within uh, 30 minutes but this time i took 40 minutes uh, don't mistake me because i had a lot of questions a lot of points to cover last thing september January 2025 applications are open whether you are planning to study in europe or not that's all a secondary question come and collect information okay you lose nothing by collecting information and you all are welcome okay thank you take care